Hello, my name is Lily and I'm going to show you how to add an expense to your account using the QuickBooks mobile app. So on your device, if you open the QuickBooks app, you might first of all get asked to put some login information in. However, I've already done that. So once you're through, it will show you this company activity screen. So to add an expense on this activity screen, you can see there's a blue cross at the bottom. If we select that, it gives us a little menu bar of things we can do. So in this case, we want to select expense on the top row. And this is where it will take us through the step-by-step -step guide. So you can first of all see there's a camera icon on the left-hand side. And this is a really good option that QuickBooks has started to add. It's become more and more popular. This actually lets you add a photo of the expense. So maybe if you've got like a petrol receipt, you can attach the photo to the expense you're putting through. So in my case, I have actually got a petrol receipt. So if I click take photo, and there we go. So there is my petrol receipt. And if I take the picture and I click use photo, this will upload it to my online account and it will show it next to the expense within my account. So first of all, the amount, so that was for five pounds. It then asks you, how did you pay for it? So credit would be a credit card account. Check will take it through to your current account or you've got the option of other. Unfortunately, it's not very detailed, but they are your only options. So mine came out of a current account, so I'm going to have to select check. But you could change it, so if you've got more than one account, you could pick which bank account it came from. It pre-populates the date to today's date, but you can change this back to whenever it was. You also then kind of get an option of who did you pay. So if you had a supplier set up, say you had a petrol card and you had a supplier that you'd always add it to you can pick that from there if not if it was just a kind of sundry one-off thing you can just follow through and leave it blank so what kind of expense is this this is asking you where you want to add it to your accounts so in my case i'm going to add it to office general admin expenses but sometimes you might find that you've already got a, a travel or a petrol cost code it's whichever is most efficient for you what is the tax is if you were going to claim the vat on it and anything you need to remember, possibly you can add a note about where this was incurred or why the expense was incurred. You can add a split at the bottom as seen here. And this relates to maybe where you've paid out a lump sum of money, but you want to add it to two different nominal codes. So maybe it was petrol and a little bit of lunch. So you wanted to split that out. You get the option to do that there in the add split. Once you're happy though, and I'm just going to delete the splits because I'm happy with my one. Once you're happy that all the information is on there, you can save in the top right hand corner. And then the expense will be added to your online account. And then we can view this and also view the picture that we've added just to make sure that everything's on there. So there we go. So this is the expense and you can see that the picture is on there. And if we click on the picture, it will show us the picture of the invoice we've added. If you've got any queries or comments, leave them below. If not, feel free to check out our other videos.